Well, this winter storm will last two days and hit 40 states. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo joins us now to explain how one storm can have such an enormous impact on nearly the entire country. Yeah, the next storm is shaping up to have the biggest impact on the United States so far this season. It's estimated that 100 million people will be impacted by this storm. That's one third the population of the United States. All the major populated areas will see something from this next storm. Dallas to Atlanta, Chicago to Boston, and we won't be spared from this storm in what is already a very snowy winter. A lot more snowstorms than there were last year. I think it's a lot of snow. I just think it's way too much and it should end and I can't wait for spring. Weather patterns have changed during the past week, but there are no signs of spring yet. Last week we talked about how the North Atlantic Oscillation brought a prolonged period of cold deep into the eastern U.S. That phenomenon has reversed and the deep cold has left the east shifting north and west. If it wasn't snowy, it would have been perfectly yeah. fine. This next storm is fueled by La Nina, and this is one of the strongest La Ninas since the 50s, making this particular storm a powerhouse. La Nina, the cooling of waters in the eastern Pacific, alters weather patterns around the world. In the U.S., storms strengthen near the Gulf Coast and cut across the Ohio River Valley, passing near us. With this storm, tornadoes are possible in the south, a blizzard in the Midwest. And for us, the deep cold has left, but we're still expecting wintry weather. This time, will be dealing with rain snow lines. And that's not to say that any future storms in uh, the next month or so won't be uh, all snow. Any small changes that take place in the atmosphere can certainly alter what any storm brings. Reporting live in the weather yard, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.